everyone. We are People in Action with another interesting and helpful interview. Today, we have invited a member from a trade union, and we have contacted the IWGB, which is short for Independent Workers Union of Great Britain. Welcome, Henry, and thank you for attending this interview. And I want to ask you to introduce yourself before my partner, Stephanie, start this interview. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is uh, Henry uh, Lopez. I'm, uh, I'm General Secretary of the Independent Workers Union of Great Britain, which is a trade union that represents workers, workers who uh, work in low-paid jobs, but also migrant workers, workers in the gig economy, workers who uh, don't know their rights, and workers who are organizing in terms of uh, improving their conditions at work. Hello, Harry. My name is Zeynep. Uh, I would like to some question. Uh, yeah. My first question is, what is the trade union? Trade union is an organization that is uh, there to help workers when they have problems at work. Uh, like for instance, uh, sometimes you have employers that are not treating you properly. They are not uh, paying you your wages. They are not giving you holidays. You're you know, not paying you when you get sick or like uh, harassing you. There's all sorts of problems that workers have in a workplace, but we also are an organization that is uh, like a community organization where we uh, empower workers uh, in order to fight for their rights, uh, to do collective action, uh, to fight for better conditions at work, but we also um, provide trainings, we help them with understanding of the law and also with workshops, for instance, so they can understand the rights at work and we are able to support each other as an organization. The union is a, a democratic organization which is led by its members. So we encourage many workers to take part on leadership positions in order to do their job and help other workers. Thank you very much. And my second question, Harry, uh, are there different types of the trade unions? Which ones? Yeah, there is many, many trade unions in the country uh, and they, these unions uh, organize different kinds of workers. For instance, there are unions that organize uh, workers in higher education, in universities, in schools, uh, in government departments, uh, and also, for instance, in the transport, and you know, people who work in the trains, uh, the trains, and, and on buses, they also are represented by a trade union. We, in our trade union, we represent cleaners, we represent hotel workers, restaurant workers, people who work for Uber, the taxis. We represent couriers who deliver food and, and, and other things uh, in your houses, for instance. And we represent security guards, receptionists. We represent many workers in university who are outdoors and work on precarious jobs. And, and there is many, many unions that uh, organize workers in different industries, like in communication, uh, I guess, as I said before, in transport, in department of government, government. So there is many trade unions where mem people can become members according to the job they, they do. Thank you very much. My last question is, Henry, what are the uh, advance of the uh, joint the trade union? The advantage of joining a trade union 
is that you will have an organization that will be backing you up, will be helping you when you have been problems at work. Uh, but also, it will be there to support you uh, when um, there is some problem uh, in, in your workplace that is not just affecting you, but is also affecting your your colleagues at work. But we also uh, are, are an organization that works with many other organizations that are fighting for better rights, for equality, for migrant workers, and for many other causes uh, that uh, sometimes is affecting the lives of people. So we work with many organizations around the country, internationally as well. So you are part of a big movement, not just uh, of a union that's going to be able to help you when you have problems. But we also, like if you have a problem, for instance, in your work, you have the, the right to be represented by a trade union. Uh, being a member of a trade union is your right. And also, sometimes you might have disciplinaries that you need the representation. The trade union will be accompanying you to these meetings. We will take the case uh, for you. We will write to the company. We will appeal if there is, a, you know, if they dismiss you and, and we have been in a meeting. Uh, we will also take the company to employment tribunal. Uh, if the case uh, requires us to do so, we will take the company's court all the way in order to protect your job, but also to make sure that the things are done in the right manner, so you are you are that your rights are protected. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you for your uh, definition. It's a good definition for me. It is uh, too much information I I give. I gave. Thank you very much. I passed my another friend. Hi, Harry. I am Yusuf. Uh, I hear about your organization and I have uh, some um, question about it, please. My first question is uh, the, uh, how long has the IWGB trade union uh, been in operation? The IWGB union uh, was set up in 2012. Uh, by a group of cleaners who tried to organize in order to fight for the rights and to improve the conditions at work. So we've been active uh, for a very short period of time, uh, as I said, in 2012. Okay. And my second question is, uh, to know if uh, you receive any, fund, any funding from uh, the government, or trust a foundation, or if uh, all uh, your funding come from your member? Yeah, normally uh, trade unions uh, rely on the membership uh, of its members. So the members pay uh, a fee, and that's why I hope the union is able to function. We don't care, we don't get any government money. And in some cases, uh, like us, uh, our trade union, we get some money from funding because we are a low resource union. The members we represent work in very precarious jobs, like cleaners, for instance, who cannot pay high membership. But the fact that they pay lower membership it means that we have to rely on funding from organizations that are able to support us. So ideally, a trade union should be able to function with the membership of its members. And that's why it's important that workers join the union before they have a problem, but also remain as members, because if members don't pay fees, the unions won't be able to survive. OK. And uh, my last uh, question would be, uh, what are the objectives uh, of your union? The objective of, of our union and any trade union is to improve the conditions of workers in your workplace,
but also uh, at the, at, at, in a country level. So we normally take on cases uh, against the government to improve workers' rights. We campaign as well in order to improve the conditions. So our aim is to change the lives of people who are being exploited, but also to keep uh, job security in the workplace so that workers are able to enjoy the benefits that they have, to keep the benefits that they have, but also to fight back if the employers try to take uh, benefits away from the workers. But the main uh, aim of the union is to empower workers to uh, create workers who are leaders and who can organize their co-workers. But as I said, the main aim of the union is to improve uh, terms of conditions for their members. So, okay, thank you very much for all your answer. So uh, I know a little bit more about your organization now. Uh, I will have uh, a pleasure to ask uh, my uh, colleague, Monsi, uh, for some uh, preoccupations he has. Thank you. Hello, Henry. My name is Monse. I and I have some questions for you. My first question for you today is, who can join it? Every, as I said, every union uh, have uh, its membership according to the industry they represent. So some unions, uh, if you work, for example, you work in the, let's say uh, you, you drive a bus, you, the ideal thing should be that you join the union that represent those workers, like the RMT, for instance, and other unions that also represent those workers. In our union, we represent different kind of workers. So there are different workers that can join our union. We represent cleaners, hotel workers, restaurant workers, so they can join the union, the IWGB. We have receptionists, we have uh, taxi drivers from Uber, additionally, and all these operators, they can join the IWGB. We have couriers, uh, we have foster carers, we have uh, workers in universities who can join, uh, game workers, charity workers, uh, nannies and youpers, yoga teachers, and um, those workers can join the union. So if you go to our website, you can check if you, if you are working in those industries and then you can join the union. Thank you. My second question is, is there any problem for a person to join more than one trade union? Not at all. Members can join any trade union as long as they can afford. There are people in some uh, in some universities, for instance, that are teachers, and they join the teachers union, but then they also join another union that is representing, for instance, cleaners, because they want to support those workers as well. So you can be in two unions. For instance, there is some unions that represent only public sector, so only will represent you if you work in a university but they cannot represent you if you work, let's say you have another cleaner job in a building, they won't represent you in that. In that. So you can join another union like us who can represent cleaners there and can represent you. Obviously it's, it's, it's you. more money that you need to pay, but you can join any union that you want. You can join two, three, four unions as long as you have the money to pay, or if you have a need to join two unions, then you can join. We have members, who are members of another union, but because they have another job, they are members of our union as well, so they pay to membership. Thank you. My next question, does this trade union have any relationship with any other organizations? Yes, we, as I said before, we are a trade union that works with many organizations that, for instance, are supporting migrants, are working for equality for women, are working for human rights, are, are, are doing uh, research uh, to know uh, how the, the problem is affecting workers, so they can also put pressure on the government and, uh, and analyze what is the situation and uh, work with other government agencies in order to highlight the issues. 
needs of the worker. So for instance, we, in our union, we work with Latin American women rights. So they give a service, uh, they provide like trainings, they provide a service for our members. And uh, we also work with the London Renters Union. Uh, they know about rights for, for, you know, for renters. Like if you have problems in your house, for instance, so they work with us uh, in partnerships, uh, providing uh, events uh, for members. And we also we also provide our our, our workshops that are for workers' rights. So we work together in order to, as, as a solidarity. Uh, we work we also work with, for instance, organizations that help with uh, residents for European citizens. Uh, they do it like. Uh, we work with uh, uh, many other organizations. I mean, a trade union, as I say, is an organization that supports workers, but we work with many organizations who are supporting, in, for instance, when we have demonstrations against employers, when we have strikes, when the worker, workers are on strike, they come to support us, they give us, uh, they give us money sometimes in solidarity. So this is a, we are part of a big movement. So we definitely work with many organizations. Okay, and my last question for you is, how do you update information about news or new laws? For our members, we normally, for our members, we have a, a weekly newsletter where we send it by email to all our members. Uh, we also have uh, groups because uh, every branch in our union, for example, we have cleaner branch only for cleaners, and there is other branch who is only for security guards. So every branch have officials, and the officials are the same cleaners and the same security guards who are elected every year. So they would send communication to the cleaners, they would send the others, we send to the security guards. But we also have uh, WhatsApp groups, for instance, that we use. Uh, we also have uh, social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, where we are always uploading information about our campaign, about the changes in the law. And we also do workshops from time to time, like we, we do workshops on employment rights, or workshops on accident at work or other things. So we pass information and invite members all the time to come to this uh, meeting so they can understand uh, the rights. Uh, we also uh, work with many national uh, newspapers or, or TV channels that always want to hear the problems of the workers and they also uh, Provide this kind of news uh, to, you know, to put it uh, out to the public. So we use different uh, channels in order to provide communication to our members, but also to people outside from uh, outside of the union, our supporters. Okay, thank you, Henry. Now my partner Antonio will continue with the interview. Hello, Henry. Hi. My first question is, why do the people ask for your help? Many workers have problems in their workplace and they obviously, they, they don't know what to do when the problem happens at work. Like nobody wants to have problems, but sometimes you might be working in a job and the employer don't want to pay you your wages, don't want to give you your holidays, or is uh, terminating your employment or changing your contract or, or treating you badly. So obviously you want to get help uh, to, to solve this situation. And that's why many people are looking for help when they are, you know, sacked from the job. Uh, they're looking for help, uh, someone who can give them help them to get them back their jobs, but also to get paid the wages and things like that. So that's why members, uh, I mean, people contact us, as in this country. Uh, unfortunately, if you are not in a union, it's very difficult to find help. 
most of the problems that people have is they don't know the law. Some of them don't even speak a language. So it's very difficult and it's very expensive here to, to, to hire a lawyer or something. And that's why it's important to be in a trade union. And that's why people contact us because we are the organizations that can help them. Um, and but also some people contact us because they want to be protected. So they join before they have a problem. Thank you. Another question. How long after registration does the trade union start helping people? Normally, uh, every trade union in the country have uh, uh, rules. As I said before, if members don't pay uh, to the union, we won't be able to survive or to exist. Uh, unfortunately, many members try to join when they when they have a problem, and sometimes they leave the union and they want to rejoin so they can we can we can help them. Uh, because of that, uh, unions have rules. Some unions might have three months policy that they cannot help you if you're not a member for three months. In our union, you have to be member for two months minimum before uh, we can support you in a. a in a legal case, like we, our legal department can support you. So if a problem happened before those two months, we won't be able to support you. We might advise you what to do if you are a member, but we won't be able to, to, to help you. And as I said, sometimes these policies are there because members, they leave the union and they don't pay and they try to join later. And it's, uh, it's a bit unfair for people who are already paying every month, and that's why it's important. But uh, that is the rules that, that many trade unions have in this country, and we have as well. My last question is: uh, What are the priority steps members have to take with you to solve problems? They prefer they have to give us the evidence that they have if they if they have a problem at work. For instance, if you don't get paid and you have that problem, you have to have your pay slips ready so we can check at the pay slips if, uh, to check if, if, if you are right and if the company is not paying you. Uh, we need to have communication and we need to understand your problem so we can have a meeting. And normally we will have a meeting with you and we'll talk about the case and understand first the problem, but also try to investigate what is the problem. And then uh, you have to provide all the evidence. If you have uh, if you have an email from your manager, if you have a text message from your manager, anything that you have is very helpful for us. Once you give us that information, we will understand the problem and then we'll be able to tell you what to do or what the union can do for you. We can ask you to, to ask for more information to the company or we can uh, ask you to, to send something to the company so the company can reply or we can uh, write directly to the company and ask them any questions that we might think is relevant to your case. Thank you, Harry. My next colleague, Daniela, have some question for you. Um, hello, Henry. I'm Daniela. I would like the three questions. The first question is, can you tell us uh, about a case you have done? I have done many cases uh, because I've been uh, representing workers. For instance, I have done cases where uh, the other day, uh, a cleaner work in a, in a university. She took a holidays and uh, when she came back to her work, she couldn't come back on time. She sent a text to her manager saying, I'm, I'm stuck in my country because I have an issue. I cannot, I will be back later. The manager said that didn't want to listen. When she came back to work, the manager she had said, you don't have a job anymore. Go home. And she basically treated her badly. And she basically didn't know what to do, and she started crying. And then, at one point, uh, she she 
was uh, somebody gave her our contact and we helped her at the time because uh, we didn't have a policy at the time we could, we were helping people uh, when they joined so i help we i helped her and i write to the company and i told them that what they're doing is illegal because they have to follow a process in order to dismiss you or to terminate your employment, you have to have a meeting. If you have done something wrong, you need to have a, a you know, they need to do investigation. They need to do disciplinary if, they, if there is a need, but there is a process that they have to follow. But these companies, they don't follow this process like many companies. They just stack of workers because that is the, the way they work. So in this case, we brought, to, I wrote to the company and they, organized a meeting and then I accompany her and in the meeting we explain and we prove that she didn't do anything wrong, that she informed the company and and the way they bullied her wasn't wasn't right and they didn't follow any process. So after the meeting we received a result, the company said they're gonna give her back her job. They're also gonna pay her for like three Three four weeks that she they didn't allow her to work, so they pay her all the money. They reinstated to her job, and yeah, that's one of the cases I have done. So she after that she still remember she's very happy with the union. Okay, thank you. The second question is: Do you solve problems both for groups of people and individuals? Different difficulty. Yes, that's why. Uh, when we organize workers, we always tell the workers to organize all the colleagues in the workplace. Because if they if they're not if only let's say in, in a workplace, if there is twenty workers, if only two workers are members of the union, it's very difficult for us to do to do something for everybody. And that's why it's important that everybody, the majority, join the union because we can do things for everybody. We can send one email to the company that this is affecting everybody's job. So we need you to do this. We need you to stop doing this or to improve this. And sometimes there is cases that if there is only one member and that member have the problem, then we help only that member, uh, depending on the problem that that member has. So there is things you can do for for all the workers, and there are things that you can do for one or two workers, depend on the situation of the workplace. But uh, yes, we do collective letter to the employer, collective case. We can do collective action. We can all get together, sign a document, and say to the company, we are not agree with this, we're not happy with this. We also can take action. We can go on strike together. We can also do you know, collective protest as well. We can do many things collectively but we can also we also help individual people who is only from that workplace a member of the union we have many members that call us every day uh, i have this problem and we help them my last question is do you provide any training for your members yes of course uh, training is very very important for members because it's one of the ways to avoid problems most of the problems that happen in the workplace even if they are members of the union doesn't mean that workers won't make mistakes. And that's why it's important for us as a union to, to give workshops, uh, training, for instance, in uh, employment rights, so you, the workers know their rights, but they also know what they cannot do. Because many problems happen in the workplace because workers make mistakes. Some workers don't know that they cannot miss work and not send any information to the manager, or sometimes workers leave early, uh, they workplace, sometimes they do this because they think uh, it, it's okay. But there are things that you cannot do, you can get in trouble. So that's why we can, it's important, provide trainings. We also provide trainings to help our members to empower them, but also to help them to improve their skills. So we do like English classes for people who speak Spanish, for instance. In our union, we have many people who speak only Spanish and they don't speak English. So we do English classes. We do translation, we use translators in order to do training in, uh, in employment rights and also on other things, how to use social media, uh, how to talk to the press and many other things. So we definitely do training uh, as a union. Hello, Henry. My name is Ricardo. Nice to meet you.
Uh, my first question is, uh, how much does it cost to be independent worker union of Great Britain union member? It depends of which branch you are part because the union, as I said, have different, uh, we represent workers from different industries and is divided by branches. So we have cleaners branch, uh, only for cleaners, and uh, it's called cleaners and facilities. We represent cleaners, restaurant, hotel workers, for instance. But we also have security guards and we have taxi drivers from Uber, like private hat drivers. So every branch have different membership. But for instance, for cleaners, if you work as a cleaner, you pay £10. If you work as a security guard, you might pay £10 as well. If you work a foster care, for instance, you pay £12 or £13, depending on the, of the branch. Uh, but it's different to every, every branch in the union. Henry, can a member freeze the payment for any time, then continue to be a member? Unfortunately, in our union, uh, it's not the case. Maybe some unions have. They can afford. In our union, we charge very low fees and we cannot afford to raise uh, membership. Uh, as I said, it depends on the branch as well. But normally, we, as a general policy, we don't have, uh, we don't raise membership. Members normally cancel and they rejoin later when, if, for example, you don't have a job, you just cancel your membership of pain. But when you find a job, you rejoin and you can continue your membership. Uh, my next question for you, Henry, is what are the reasons benefits to join a trade union? Yeah, as I said before, you have a, an organization that is there to help you when you have any problems at work that will give you the legal support. Like if you have an issue, uh, uh, we can represent you. We can go to meetings with you and, and your employer. Uh, we can have the translators helping you as well if you don't speak the language. We can take a company to employment tribunal and we provide all the lawyers and all the barristers that need for the court. We can also help you when you have other issues that not necessarily is related to work, but we, as I said, we work with other organizations where we can send you if you have other problems. But we also, as I said, are a union that is here to campaign uh, to improve your conditions. So you, ha you will have the collective power in the workplace if you are organizing with all your colleagues. But also, uh, it will by being a member of the union, you can fight for better rights in your workplace. For instance, in some places, we have uh, improved salary. Uh, we have improved conditions like sick pay, holiday, pensions. But we also are there to protect all the workers who are organizing their workplace. So employers cannot just do what, what they what they like and you know treat you badly, for instance. So we are there to look after you and to protect your rights and the conditions that everybody has in the workplace, but also to empower empower the workers and to create that collective power, but also actions in order to do things together and to work with other unions and organizations to collaborate and to work in solidarity. Um, my last question for you is, uh, how can people contact you? We have a cell phone numbers where our lines are on, on social media in our website. Uh, you can join to our website as well. It's IWGB. You can find us on, on the web. There is also Facebook, Twitter, Independent Workers Union of Great Britain. That's our union. So you can also text us or send us a message you will be able to, to, to join through there we will guide you how to do it in conclusion to, to this interview with uh, mr Ari, iwgb union trade union as a worker it is essential to join a trade union to defend our interests in the workplace this is so important and cheaper than asking for a lawyer service when we are in trouble. We have seen a lot of injustice in work when employers take advantage of employees who don't know the right, especially migrants, because we don't speak the language. That is why we, 
people in action, PIA, recommend that everyone join a trade union and in this way, you get legal support. So what are you waiting for? Join a trade union before you have a problem and defend yourself, your right. Thank you very much.